Hey everyone, in the last video we have discussed that how we can insert an element into an array. In this video we will discuss that how we can delete any element from an array. Let's start. As you can see in my screen that one array is declared over there that is 9, 19, 29 up to 79. So we can delete from the last, we can delete from the mid and we can delete from the first. So now for deleting any element from an array, what are the steps that we have to do? We have to perform a shifting. So in this video, we also talk about the shifting. So as I said previously that we cannot delete any block from an array. So what we can do that we can replace any block or we can set any value to zero. That is how we can delete an element, but we cannot delete any block from an array. So in the first array, what we have, we have nine to 79. And in the first block, we have nine. In the second block, we have 19. 29, 39, 49, 59, 69 and 79. So for deleting any element from the last position, what we have to do, we can initialize this block with zero, right? So this is the thing we can do that we have replaced that value and you can also set it to minus one or anything. It could be anything. Now, after deleting any element from an array, what are the steps that you have to perform? Let's say that at first what we are doing, we are traversing up to n so this is the n so this is where we will insert some value so during the traversal what we do will traverse up to n right so let's say that i equals to 0 i less than n and i plus plus so in this case we will traverse this array to 7 right now after deleting the element up to which value we will traverse so we will traverse up to n minus 1 so this is n minus 1 not n divided by 1 so we will traverse up to uh, n minus 1 so you may replace that 79 with 0 you may not replace that 79 with 0 that is up to you but you have to traverse up to n minus 1 so whenever you are deleting any element from an array what we have to do you have to traverse up to n minus 1 right so this is how you can remove any element from an array so in this case we are talking about the last position now let's say that we'll delete 49 from the fourth position so in this case we have the index that is fourth so for deleting any element from mid or first what we have to do at last i will talk about the generalized algorithm but let's say that for deleting this 49 what we have to do we have to make a shift so Let's say this is the 49 and for deleting this 49, what we have to do, we have to replace this 49 with 59. So in the next step, what we did, we have replaced this 49 with 59. So 59 came here, 69 came here, 79 came here and we still have this 79 over here. So do we need to bother about that 79? So we do not. So what we'll do? we will traverse up to n minus 1. In this case, we are traversing up to n. In this case, we will traverse up to n minus 1. Let's say that the value of n is 8. So I think this portion is clear. Now, we will traverse up to n minus 1. So what will be the final array? The final array will be 9, 19, 29, 39, 59, 69 and 79. So this is how we can delete an element from an array. Now, I think this portion is clear. At first, what we have to do? We have to make a shift. Then we have to traverse up to n minus one. So I think what are the steps need to be done is clear. Now we'll do the dry run. So now we'll look at the code. Now at first, what we have to do? We have declared an array. So you can see that we have declared an array of size of 10 and we have value till 7th position so yeah so we have value till 7th index now what we'll do we have a key this value to be removed so we have 49 this value to be removed we have these are the variables for the loop and this n is the last index what we have to insert anything so normally we'll traverse up to n so we will traverse up to n now what we'll do at first we have to search that in which position we 
have 49. So if you know the index from previously that from where we have to remove anything then it will be a bit easier but in this case we will do a search. So at first what we have to do we have to look at the index. So in which index we have the first occurring 49. So at first what we'll do we'll perform a linear search. In linear search what we basically do we access each and every element and we search for the value. Now we will compare every index with 49. So at first what is the value of i? The value of i is 0. In the 0th position what we have? We have 9. So 9 is let's say that 9 not equal to 49. It's correct or you can say that 9 equals to equals to 49. So this is not correct. So let me remove this thing. Yeah. So 9 not equals to 49. So this portion will not be executed. So because it's returning false. Now what we'll do? It will increment the value of i. Now what will be the value of i? The value of i will be 1. So what will be the value? It will be 19. 19 is also not equals to 49. So this portion will not be executed. Now what will be the value of i? The value of i will be 2. 29 is also not equals to 49 then what will be the value of i value of i will be 3 in the third index what we have we have 39 39 is also not equals to 49 so then what will be the value of i the value of i will be 4 so at the fourth index what we have we have 49 so in this case this portion will be executed now so when this portion will be executed then it will terminate the loop now at last at place of i what we have we have 4 so we have 49 at the fourth index now so let me remove these things yeah so then it will be clear so let, let me remain this thing yeah so at the i position what we have we have 49 right now what we'll do we will shift one value now for shifting the value what we have to do we have to perform this logic so in this logic what we are basically doing we are shifting the value of j up to one index now this 59 will come here this 69 will come here this 79 will come here now we'll do the dry run now let me say that at first what is the value of j the value of j is 4. So the value of j is 4 because previously the value of i was 4. So we are performing a linear search. Now, so what will be the value of j plus 1? The value of j plus 1 will be 5. Now, at the fourth index, at this index, yeah. So we'll replace this 49 with 59. So ARR4, it will be ARR4 equals to ARR5. So in this case, this 59 will come here. So this portion is clear now. So now what we'll do, we'll increment the value of J. So the value of J will be 5. So what will be the value of J plus 1? It will be 6. This portion is clear. Now what we'll do? At the this portion will be executed so in this portion this 59 will be replaced with 69 this portion is clear now what we'll do we'll increment the value of j the value of j will be 6 so it will be 7 so at the sixth position what we have we have 69 so this 69 will be replaced with 79 So I think this portion is clear and we were traversing up to n minus 1. Now what is the value of n? That is n equals to 8, right? So what we have into j? Now we have what is the value of j? That is 6 and we are traversing up to n minus 1. So what is the value of n? That is 8. So 8 minus 1, it will be 7. So 6 is less than 7, right? So this portion has executed. Now, 
what we'll do we'll increment the value of j so the value of j will be 7 now 7 is less than 7 no right so this loop will be terminated now at last what will be the value of that array so let me remove all these things mm, yeah so what will be the updated array the updated array will be 9 19 29 39 59 uh, 69 and 79 so this will be the updated array <laughs> this is not linked list so we didn't have any sp space so no, we can write these things as well 69 okay leave it so i think this portion is clear so at first what we did is we performed a linear search we got the index then we were performing the shifting i think you don't have any doubt if you have any doubt just write in the comment section so we have discussed about the algorithms we have discussed about what steps need to be followed and we have also performed the dry run now what we'll do at last we will compile this code and we'll see the output so you can see that 9 19 29 39 49 59 69 79 over there the, the same example now what we are doing we are searching for 49 then what we are doing we are replacing this 49 with 59 the 59 with 69 the 69 with 79 at last index we have 79 now in this case what we are performing we are performing the traversing up to n minus 1 if we traverse up to n then what we'll do at last we have a redundant 79 right i think these portions are clear right at first what we have to do we have to clear our concept code is not a thing you have to clear your concepts now what we'll do we'll compile this code uh yeah so you can see that at the last index 49 has been removed but at the last index we have a redundant 79 so what we'll do we'll traverse up to n minus 1 now you can see that we have got the expected output so if you are trying to replace the last index with 0 you can also do that that's up to you but we'll follow this approach so in this video what we have discussed we have discussed about the algorithm we have discussed about the steps we have also performed a dry run and we have executed the code so i think these portions are clear if you have any doubt just write in the comment section or you can reach out to me from linkedin from twitter see you in the next video